Good morning. So it is day one of Piper's five day day camp. And we started off by taking a short walk where I just did a little bit of leash pressure, wanted her to see what it felt like to have a pull on the leash and how it relaxes when she comes near me to start getting that feeling that, oh, there's tension. But when I move toward my person, that tension goes off and it's more comfortable. So really just some basic stuff. I wasn't doing any uh, training, any real hardcore training, just getting her acclimated and us getting to know each other. So she is here on my picnic table, which I bought strictly for this purpose. The first thing that we're gonna begin training on is what I call the down stay. The down stay means that we're teaching her to lay down with the command down but she is going to learn that when she lays down, she is to remain there until she's released. So it's, you don't have to say the word stay or wait or, you know, walk around with your stop signs up or anything like that. Over time, she will get really, really good at just staying there like she's doing now. She makes it look like I've done something. I haven't done anything yet. So she learns that it is her job when you put her in a down to stay there no matter what temptations, no matter what distractions, until you release her. I use the word break, so that's what we'll be using. So there are two commands involved here, down and then break. We don't say the word stay. And the reason we don't say the word stay is because if we're giving her that additional command, stay or wait or whatever it is, then it is us who is holding her in that position. That's not our goal. This is not a stay exercise, a stay exercise. This is a chance for her to understand that she's waiting for the release. It gives her context. So first we work on down. All we want to do is teach her to lay down when I say down, 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 down. Once she gets that, then I'm going to try to hold her in that down position for just a few seconds. And then I'm going to say break and reward her. So she has two commands, one at a time, we, we layer them together, and she learns that when she goes into the down, she is waiting for the release command. So that builds impulse control. She is the one who is keeping herself in the down. She builds impulse control, which helps us in every other aspect of our lives. And the down becomes a job for her. So it focuses her brain, which relaxes her, and it allows her to stay connected to you. So the downstay, you can, you'll probably be able to use it at home, in the house, in the yard, by just going down. And she'll get to a point where she lays down and waits for you to release her. But the best use of it is actually on leash. If you're out in public, any time that you do not want to have to be focusing on what Piper's doing, you put her in a down, now she knows that's her job. And then you go about doing what you're doing, release her when you're done. So that might be going out for drinks on a patio or, or a meal uh, at a patio or a restaurant. Uh, you might be shopping in Lowe's or PetSmart or Muddigan's or whatever. And you want for her to just hang on and not get into anything, right? Down. You put her in a down, she remains until you release her. So it's a great dog out in public tool. And she, I already can tell, is a dog who could go anywhere. She's got a fantastic energy and disposition. So anyway, I wanted you to see, we haven't done anything yet. I wanted you to see how it starts so that you can um, appreciate her progression and how what I'm, I'm sure is gonna prove her to be a quick learner. So the reason that I have her up on the picnic table is because it spares me having to constantly bend over or sit down on the ground with her. When we are up here, we're projecting leadership energy. When we bend down or we're sitting down on the floor, um, we're more like a, a litter mate. Now that is not to say that I don't sit on the floor or bend down all the time, I do, but this is easier. So she's still small enough for it. So here's what I do. You ready, baby? Now she has a fantastic sit, but I am not going to give her that command when I'm teaching her the down. When we teach a dog to lay down by making sit a prerequisite, what we set the dog up for is the possibility that down the road when you tell her down, she'll lay down for a minute or less and then she'll pop into a sit, thinking that she's being compliant because she knows the two as sort of one continuous command. So if she sits of her own volition, that's great. I don't care. I don't pull her out of the sit necessarily. But I do not say the word. 
Now, it is easier to teach a dog the down if their butt is on the ground, or in this case on the table, but I'm not going to give her the command. All I have to do, I have treats in my right hand, little bits of treats. I'm luring her. So you see she sat on her own. Now she's not down all the way, so I'm holding this treat right here. Notice I'm not giving the command. I do not name it until I reliably get the, the behavior that I want, until she starts going down more often than not. Now you see she's not, there she goes. So I give her a little bit. I'm just giving her crumbs. I just want her to stay down. Good. I don't get crazy excited. She pops up, that's fine. I don't get crazy excited because the down should represent calm. Here we go, still have a little treat crumbs in my hand. I hold them up. I feel pretty sure that she'll put her butt down by herself. Yep. And then I lower her down and I move the treats away. Yes. Give her a calm yes. Yeah. And she likes this position, so that's good. Okay. A few more crumbs. Now I'm going to get her out of it. I'm not using any command yet. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Here we go. Lower her down. So this time I did not encourage the butt. I'm trying her straight from a stand up just to see how it works. I drag the treats toward her, drag the treats away. That's not helping. So I raise up. Ooh, she puts her butt down. So it is certainly easier to get a dog to lay down from a sit position, but we can do that without commanding. We can still keep those two commands separate. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. She's luring pretty reliably, so I'm going to go ahead and put a command on it. Hey, boobie. Come here. Good girl. You ready? Come here. Turn toward the camera. Come here, boobie. Come here, baby. Come here. Hey. Okay. It's a good thing I'm getting ready to name it because she's getting tired. Down. Yes. Yes. Good. Then so she pops up again. So I'm going to be repeating this. I'm going to have her sit and I'm going to say down and I'm just going to lure her, lure her, lure her. Then I'm going to start working on it from a standing position specifically and we're going to keep building. So you'll get a video later today that shows you how she's come along since she's been here. But this is the very beginning. She's really smart and oh my goodness, good energy, good disposition. All right, over and out.